Hey guys, Merry Continued Christmas. We got some more picture thread up on E4 about the uh, Secret Santa. So we're going to continue this series uh, probably all the way through. I think I think we can do it. We'll muster through. Uh, nice little change of pace. A little less focus on the, uh, the negative aspects of the hobby. And uh, just a nice time to enjoy what people are, are giving each other. Some cool surprises. So let's get straight into it here. Poganastic saying Merry Christmas to my Secret Santa who provided me, who provided some much needed Pokemon holiday cheer. There we go, we got the Zapdos on a tree. Um, I don't know if I knew that Poganastic's favorite Pokemon was Zapdos, or if it is, maybe it is, maybe it isn't. I would imagine that it probably is the one that he listed as his favorite, or at least first of the favorites. That are requested. So here we go. We got Merry Christmas to Pokenastic, uh, and it's signed here. And uh, no one, I don't think, recognized the signature, but that's okay. Uh, we'll find out later. Spoiler: uh, who it was. Uh, in one of the packages was a three-pack blister with a cool Espeon promo. Another had a celebration stin. My Secret Santa knows I like opening modern packs for fun. Modern is super fun. And I mean, it doesn't really get any cheaper to open. You're not going to make money opening modern. But uh, if there's a set that you really like and it comes out, you probably want to open it at some point when it's relatively new. Another package contained a terrarium from Japan. Very unique and a cool display piece that doesn't take up much room. We got a little Charmander, pretty cool. Um, the other pack contained an assortment of badass singles, Gyarados, Zapdos, and some vintage Meowth. They already found a spot in my binder. Very cool. Got the full air Gyarados. The, I like the Zapdos. Man, I think all the Zapdos arts are, are pretty good. Um, there's always lightning going on, he's in the sky. Uh, it's easy to make the background look really cool. I think that might be uh, part of it. Here are my pulls. Stoked for that Venusaur, Luxray, and Professor Fuller. Trainer. Yeah, it's a good uh, Professor's Research. Man, there's so many Professor's Research now that uh, any individual one um, isn't expensive. Uh, but it's cool because then you can you can pick your favorite Professor, I guess is the idea that they're going for. Uh, very playable card, so it's good uh, that it, there's lots of affordable versions. I think the the original Professor's Research, the non-hollow one, I might have like a million of them, uh, which is great, because if anyone ever needs a playset, there you go. The Chandelier VMAX is probably one of my favorite VMAXs. Not necessarily one of my favorite Pokemon, but I don't know the uh, the V Max artwork uh, and the uh, the flames and whatever are going on here just work really well. Uh, here's the Terrarium. So it wasn't it was a Zapdos inside Zapdos shooting out lightning from the clouds. So I don't know if those are like a uh, a little gotcha thing where you can get a random one. Uh, if so, that's kind of neat. Uh, also not neat if you get a bunch of duplicates and you had to order them from Japan. That would kind of suck. Although a lot of that stuff, it seems like if you get a full case of it, you get one of each or two of each. Uh, so that might be the, the route to go, if you can. DJ Gigabyte says, All right, well, Mertz came through with the goods, and my secret Santa has arrived. Merry Christmas, DJ Gigabyte. I hope you enjoy the gifts and my super creepy, terrible rendition of Vaporeon. I actually haven't really attempted to draw anything for years. It was fun. I didn't know what I should get. And... 06 collector such as I was OG OG collector. It's like 06. Was he collecting an 06? Uh, an OG collector such as yourself. So I figured I couldn't go wrong with some sealed product. Keep up the good work. I'm a YouTube sub and really enjoy your vids. Sincerely, Mertz. That's true. Uh, DJ Gigabyte does make YouTube videos. Uh, so check those out if you haven't already. I'm sure most have. That are watching this i know everyone from e4 likely has at some point glad you're enjoying the content speaking of the creepy v vaporeon so here he is um 
it's kind of it's a little bit creepy uh yeah at least a little bit evil if if not on the on the on the creepy side but i mean vaporeon in general is a little bit creepy so as soon as you take a little bit of the cute away from him he's probably going to look pretty evil here's the gifts we got the chunky boy pikachu figure collection we got the vapor vaporeon tin very fitting it seems like a lot of people are getting these, which is great. I think these tins are great. Um, nice selection of items. Some cool reverse hollow Vaporeons. A Vaporeon tin, which is staying sealed for now. And a Celebrations box. Oh, and someone approved of you sending a card with a Corgi Pokemon on it. There he is. Side by side, Corgi boys. As for the VMAX collection, the regular packs were duds, but the Celebration stuff had some gas. So there we go. We got the Pikachus. You gotta, you gotta like the included promos. Uh, a couple Pikachus that come with the box. You get the chunky figure, which is pretty well done. Uh, I wasn't expecting it to actually be as heavy as it is. It's thing is uh, definitely a paperweight and a half. Uh, we got a couple of the Pikachus here. We got this boy. Uh, I feel like you can't go wrong with this boy either. I mean, people are gonna want that like long term. It's probably only a couple bucks right now, but uh, for what it is, I think it's undervalued, uh, even though they're pretty easy to, to pull. So here we go. We got a Zapdos, Gyarados, and a Groudon. It's pretty good. Not bad for uh, for one box there. Unfortunately, not the, the starter trio, but uh, still, to get the, the three um, reprint collection classic collection whatever you want to call it i think it's a, a pretty good box trainer jack a huge thank you to wolchi i don't know if i'm <laughs> i'm pronouncing that right they came through with a great additions to my dex binder and an amazing drawing merry christmas okay so here we got another pokedex collector i haven't seen one of those in a while uh one of those people i think it was Seemed like more of a common thing before, but it could just be that I run into um, a few of them at a time, and I think it's a thing. But uh, here we go. Okay, so you might, I wonder if he provided like a list of all the Pokemon that he was missing uh, for his Pokedex binder. Man, you would need a, need quite a few binders at this point, I guess. I guess you'd need three if you're just doing one of each Pokemon, depending on if you're trying to get like mega evolutions and stuff like that. There's a lot of rules that you can either follow or not follow with the uh, Pokedex binders, so interesting to know. All right, Sparky55603 five, five, says, DJ Gigabyte, the absolute goat. Thank you so much for my gift and the painting is amazing i love it so much this is my first secret santa on here and you made it amazing thank you so much again for the awesome gifts and i hope you have an awesome christmas i bet you can't tell from the pictures which three pokemon i put down as my favorite <laughs> i think dragonite spoiling that a little bit uh, if not for the the painting itself oh look at this little guy we got a cool little Dragonite. I don't know what this figurine is from, but that's kind of cool. We got some Mickey D packs. We got Christmas Town, um, the Nightmare Before Christmas trading card game expansion set. So here's a little taste of everything is or was a TCG at one point in time. Uh, it seems like we got a little bit of a, a taste of that in 2021 with the, uh, the new card games that are coming in. Um, and, uh, so a little flashback, although I don't know what year these would come out, would have come out, or what year the Christmas or the Nightmare Before Christmas came out, but just this this gives me like 90s, everything's a trading card game vibes. Jirachi, very nice, amazing rare. We get the signed Vaporeon, of course, from the Vaporeon King himself, DJ Gigabyte. We get Team Up, Unbroken Bonds, Team Up. Is this... Are these cut out? Are those cutouts? I'm confused. Um, they almost look like uh, the pre-release kits that are that are chopped out, which might be kind of cool if you were doing binders where you went from one set into the next. You could use that as a, a start of the next set. B 
be kind of cool. I, I don't know if I could ever do it that way because there's the odd time where I put something in the wrong spot in the binder uh, and even just one or two binders where it, like you have to move everything once to the left or right is not a good time, <laughs> especially with these really large sets that have been coming out. Mert says, thank you, Hizoka107, for the awesome gifts. I love the cards. Dark Kadabra is an underrated card. I can't wait to put Alakazam on my desk at work. Lastly, that is one of the coolest stickers slash artworks I've ever seen. Merry Christmas. Whoa. Okay, so we got like a Demon Slayer, um, Gyarados, Squirtle action going on here. Uh, did he? Wait, what? Did he? Did he make that? He must have made that. That's cool. So this was his, I guess, included artwork uh, in sticker form, which is kind of neat. I don't know. I don't think anyone's done that yet, although I might have uh, just forgotten uh, about previous years. But uh, certainly we haven't seen any this year where they they made a sticker. Uh, we got Dark Kadabra. We got an Altaria. We got a, a Rayquaza. Triple blister pack from uh, Sword and Shield. I can't even remember what triple blister that was, but that's a very cool card, nonetheless. And the Altaria in that 10. What a banger. We got Pokemon 7. Little, little figure action going on here. Bandai. Man, there's so many like weird little like trinkets and toys and uh, figurines that uh, just really don't know about. I always uh, remember the like Moncole ones or whatever they're called. Um, but uh, I don't know if I've seen any of those yet or if it's a series with this Alakazam. It says three, so I don't know if that's like series three. Could be. Davey says, an unexpected parcel came in the post today. I had one of my neighbor's Christmas gift baskets delivered to my house a few days ago and had to turn away a very confused delivery guy so I was expecting something similar this time instead I popped the box open to find a couple very well wrapped items it's kind of neat we got a couple different uh, varieties of wrapping paper and bubble bubble wrap on that one for the Pikachu I wasn't very graceful with my unwrapping and all the wrapping paper went into the trash, I'm afraid. <laughs> but inside, I think that's the that's the point of wrapping paper. You, you don't have to save it. Uh, we have the Pikachu. Man, I if someone can tell me how many Pikachu plushies there are like this, um, good on you because I've lost count. I've definitely lost count. Uh, these are kind of cool. We got jelly bean, something or other. We got a Moltres, a signed Moltres. We got a Badoof Christmas thing going on here. All right, let's make sure we didn't miss any text. A super generous and thoughtful gift from Kpod. Thank you so much. I have a weird obsession with Badoof, so it was awesome to unwrap the drawing from the cardboard. It is now my favorite piece of Pokemon art and will be framed as soon as I can find a frame that will fit the piece. I especially love the Starmie topping the tree. I didn't I, oh, I didn't even notice the Starmie topping the tree. And Sweater Badoof on the right. Seriously, this is an absolute masterpiece. E4 Secret Santa, K-Pod. Uh, I was also thrilled to find some signed cards in a semi-rigid holder. I'm a pretty sentimental person, so I ended up putting these cards in perfect fits and into one-touch cases. Uh, they have gone directly into my Never Sell pile. We got Articuno. We got the Deli Bird. What's going on with this Deli Bird? It's looking mighty pink. And Moltres to Davy from K-Pod. Very cool. Couple signed boys. The other items were also much appreciated. I'm a fiend for chewy gummy candies. I will, without fail, uncontrollably demolish a pack of Haribos in one sitting every time. So the gummies were much appreciated. The Pikachu plush will be a permanent installation on a bookcase in my room. 
This is also my first ever ETB, aside from some Evolving Skies boosters and two Celebrations packs I got from GameStop earlier last month. I've also never really opened sealed product. It'll be awesome to open the ETB on Christmas Day and share with family. This really did make my day. The drawing and sign cards were especially awesome, and they'll be on display on my desk for the next long while. Thanks so much again, and happy Christmas, K-Pod. Edit Jelly Belly Sour Santas are the bomb.com. Bless you, K-Pod, and everyone else. I got the link, the link there to the Jelly Bellies. The, interesting. I w- they must be good. If he uh, if he came back for the edit, let me know if anyone's tried them. Coil. So here we go. We solved the mystery. I'm glad you liked everything. Pokenastic. The card is signed. Coil. Uh, K O I L. Is it a C C O I L? I guess. Uh, maybe it's just the way the translation works. Merry Christmas. My gift from Fate came in the other day. Thank you so much for everything. I loved it all. Here's what was inside. So we got the Magnemite, Z- Magnazone, or Magneton rather. We got a Matang. We got a, a Beldum. Another Magnemite over here. Very cool. And then we got a assigned Mew from Fate. I'm trying to figure out what kind of marker this is. It's a crazy pink marker on the purple. It looks really cool. My first Miscut error, Magnemite, one with two square corners. Oh, cool, yeah. I didn't even know sub four square corners were possible. Well, with CGC, most anything is possible. It can be stolen too, and then you'll get the uh, double qualifier. There were also a couple of packs, but luck was not with me. If only the Pukamuku was reverse hollow. Aw, oh, damn. I don't know if I have an extra one. I'll have to take a look. Look at that. That's so cool. I like this super vibrant marker thing going on. I'm assuming that's the same marker that was used on the uh, the Mew there. Super cool. I don't know if this is just a blank card or one that was wiped clean, but regardless, pretty cool. Um, and the artwork as well. We got the Pugamuku decorating the tree. Gotta like that. The highlight of the gift is this absolutely amazing art of Magnemite, Metagross, Matang, and Pukamuku. Words can't describe how much I love it, especially with the small details like Pukamuku's Magnazone ornament. I'm definitely going to frame it. it. makes me so happy just looking at it. Once again, thank you so much, Faye, for everything, especially the art. Happy holidays. Next. Shocker, Shocker B37. I don't know if it's Shocker or Shocker B, but we're going to go with Shocker B. Shoutouts to Electro Dude for a stellar Secret Santa gift. Your package arrived after a particularly rough, rough work day and really lifted my spirits. We got the Mew here. We got a, a little Pika in the corner, it looks like. I guess we can look at the picture uh, where it's actually s- centered and facing us and not at an angle. Um, we got the Smiley Pack. What's, uh, what's the difference? All right, let's find out. So here we go. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to Shocker B37 from Electro Dude, Rodney E4 Secret Santa 2021. We got a couple coins. These are the old boy coins. Back in my day, we didn't have plastic coins. We have paper coins or cardboard coins or whatever they I guess they're cardboard more than paper. Pogs. We had pogs. First thing I see is the this <laughs> wonderful drawing. Definitely getting hung in the collection room. Glad to see I snagged a Red Cheeks Pika. And I adore these old school theme deck coins. Some of the coolest non-trading card collectibles in the hobby. He was actually referring to the the red, the red boy here. I got confused there for a second. I thought there was a uh, base set Pikachu with the red cheeks somewhere. For starters, I received not one but two PSA slabs. I did. I actually didn't have graded copies of either of these, and Dark Sizor is one of my favorite cards ever. I remember pulling a Japanese copy from Toys R Us as a kid. I was so thrilled with them. That's pretty cool. 
Wait, what? You pulled You pulled the Japanese copy from Toys R Us? Do they have do they have Toys R Us in Japan? I'm confused. Uh, I mentioned I'd like some comments on comments from Neo Destiny and Gym Heroes, but certainly didn't expect all these first Ed Near Mint copies. Some of these babies are definitely joining my future subs. Such beautiful art on these, especially Swinub. Thanks so much. I guess it's Swine. Is it Swineub? I don't know. I can't remember ever hearing it uh, said in like the anime or anything. But I'm sure it has been. I just don't remember. There's been so many episodes. Here we go. We got the Eevee. We got the, the three-pack Fusion Strike with the Sleepy Eevee on the bench. We got the Vivid Voltage. We got the Pikachu V-Box. Got it like that when you get two Pikachus. We got the Baby Shinies. Oh, and the Rainbow Cake. Very cool. A Fusion Strike Blister Pack, Vivid Voltage, and Pikachu V Collection Box. I had such a blast opening all of this. I don't often buy Modern, so I don't do too many pack openings. Man, this brought me back. Got some sweet highlights too. I'm in love with the Melsery. So this is cool. I think it's really neat that it kind of gives people an excuse to, or an opportunity to, to open some stuff. And maybe I should have uh, included, even though it wasn't on the list of things that my secret Santa recipient wanted, Maybe it would have been a good idea to include some, just to uh, force them to to enjoy and open something on top of whatever they actually want. So we got the sign care. We got an Articuno EX from Japanese Team Rocket Returns. I don't know the name of that, um, the Japanese sign. We got Erica, very nice. We got a Mew EX. Very cool. These singles took my breath away and touched on some of my favorite things in the hobby. I had no idea that the Silver Deck Rockets Articuno EX was textured in the way it is. Oh, it's textured? I saw the glitter, but I didn't know it was textured. Uh, very cool. Easily one of my favorite cards now. The Giftbox Mew EX is a beautiful Mew. I didn't have, even in English, I also didn't have a Hollow Bleed Erica for my Hollow Bleed collection. Oh, I completely missed that, but yeah, you can see it bleeding there, which is one of my primary pursuits. And I love the new variant to my base Pikachu collection. Very cool. There it is. That's it. Group photo. Electro Dude, I'm floored by your generosity and thoughtfulness. You brought me so much joy with all of this. Thank you so much, and happy holidays to you and all other E4 homies. Bonus card cards I'll never use if anyone wants them. Next, K-Pod. Thank you, Dizzle24, for the amazing gift box. Honestly, I can't even decide what my favorite item is. The Santa Mew and Stocking Mew plushes. Oh, okay, cool. I was like, Stocking Mew, what? Uh, the Articuno figurine or the amazing artwork that encompasses me or my three favorite Pokemon, Mew, Articuno, and Ninetales in a Christmas setting. The Lily Mew sitting at the base of the tree, how original. And that 3D postcard, I've never seen this one before and it's absolutely stunning. Also, I should note the three Mew singles he sent are the exact ones that I would hope to have pulled from celebrations. The Pokemon packs included will be my first packs open since, see, again, first packs open since 2001 when I opened first edition Neo Rev. Again, thanks again, Dizzo. You really went above and beyond with your gifts. I feel like you can't go wrong. Just toss a few packs in there. Uh, people seem very excited, even though it might not have been on their list of things that they wanted. Um, toss some packs in. Lesson learned. So here we go. We got this Dizzle art here. We got the, we got the Articuno. We got the Nine Tails. And the Mew at the base. We got a few Mews. We got the lenticular card here. This is cool. I kind of wish it was like a GIF or something so we could, we could see it flop back and forth. Um, but kind of get the idea. And the Pokemon bag. I don't know if that was that. 
it looks like it would be something from the Pokemon Center, uh, the Japanese Pokemon Center, but it doesn't say Pokemon Center on it, so maybe not. I don't know. All right, Gengar guy says, "Wow, super caps, not super caps, but super bold, super sized." Huge shout out to Jacob. Not sure the screen name. I'm pretty sure, pretty sure it's Jacob on the screen name. For the absolutely fantastic Secret Santa gift this year, it was delivered earlier today, so it got here at the perfect time. Did you try to have it delivered on Christmas Eve? I don't usually wait around to open gifts, and this was no exception. First up, a creative rendition of my favorite Pokemon, Gengar. Dear Sam, hope these cards can help with your collection. We got, we got a little Pika. We got a little, little Psyduck. Uh, Merry Christmas. P.S. I'm not artistic. LOL. <laughs> Jacob. Uh, here we go. I got a good laugh out of the sidekicks. Angry Morpeko. Oh, is it Morpeko? I thought it was a Pikachu. Angry Morpeko, <laughs> Angry Morpeko and Psyduck? Question mark. And nice use of the white pair of the Pokeball. Next, I found an awesome surprise an entire booster box of the Japanese 25th anniversary set, along with a sack of booster packs waiting to be open. Sweet. I opened the Eevee Heroes, Celebrations, and Shining, Shining Fates packs right away. I got some awesome cards. I decided to keep the booster box sealed as a momentum of this year's Secret Santa. I will keep it next to my previous year's Secret Santa gift and remember it for years to come. Very cool. Finally, a huge stack of cards, all from my favorite eras, HDSS, Black and White, and X and Y. I mentioned that I'm starting a binder of Black and White, X and Y, Ultra Rares, and in addition to crazy amount of variety, I got 40 X cards that I do not yet have to start me off on this journey. I absolutely love the Flareon from Undaunted. In fact, it is one of my favorite arts of all time. Very cool. Overall, I want to give a heartfelt thank you to Jacob for taking the time to put together such an awesome gift. It was so exciting to open and made my Christmas Eve extra special. Merry Christmas. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Join the Discord. And I'll see you tomorrow for another one of these.